Today we're going to be working on sample problem SP3-3 and we're going to be creating this uh, part right here and uh, there's there's a variety of ways we can make this um, we're going to be learning um, one method um, but but if you once you learn SOLIDWORKS very well there's there's all different ways you can you can do this procedurally so the first thing it's telling us to do is we're going to do from the right side we have the directions down here uh, right plane given the dimensions 1 through 9 extrude cut um, and it shows us in pictures so we're gonna we're gonna sketch this profile on the right plane so let's go ahead and get started with that right plane sketch line tool uh, we come out this way, we go up this way, we go up this way, and then we connect this across. And now we're going to uh, smart dimension. All right, so this is in uh, millimeters. We have 35 millimeters. 35 millimeters. Five millimeters. And twenty five twenty five millimeters. All right, and now what we're going to do is we're going to extrude this for forty millimeters. Features, shrewd boss base, 40 millimeters. All right, so we have the shape created. Uh, next thing we're going to do is we're going to click on this uh, face right here. We're going to click on the face and we're going to draw a 35 by 30 rectangle. We're going to do that on both sides. 35 by 30. So let's go ahead and start on this side. I believe this is the let's see, we'll look at the right plane. And we're gonna sketch one a corner rectangle, right? Corner rectangle. We're gonna start at this corner. We're gonna come up here, right there, and I think we can well. Yep, 35 by 30. All right, so this should already be, uh, let's see, I want this to be 30 millimeters, and this is probably already 35. All right, so that's already 35. There you go. And then uh, we're going to extrude this. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. I'm going to rotate this. And we want this extruded on this side. Twenty millimeters. Doesn't say it. It should say it right there. It'd be nice, but it doesn't. But it says it in the bottom. Twenty uh, millimeters on both sides. So let's go back. We want this to be twenty millimeters. Hit OK. Now we're going to do the same thing on this side. Click on the face, sketch, corner rectangle, start in this corner. We just make it the same size as the other one. The other one's already sized, so we have identical size. Uh, extrude boss space. I'm going to rotate this. This is already a 20, so we go OK. And we have the shape. All right, you can see the shape right here. All right, let's go back to the uh, right plane. Now we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna center it 10 millimeters on both sides. It's gonna be 20 high. And then we're gonna have a cut through, cut through all. 
So let's go with a um, click on the face, sketch. We do corner rectangle. Do it somewhere on this line. And we're going to smart dimension it. Ten millimeters. Uh, click on this side. Ten millimeters. And click on this side. Twenty millimeters. All right, so there's our shape. We go to features, extrude cut. We do uh, through all. You can see. Check mark, and there you go. There is our shape cut through all. So there's a the shape right there. Let's look at isometric view. All right, so there's our there's our shape. I'm going to use the arrow keys to move this over just like that. I think that's uh, that's that's a lot closer to what we see going on here. All right, so uh, file, save as. Make sure we have it in our uh, documents. We'll call this part. SP3-3 So we have SP3-3 sample problem 3-3 and then we're we're done with that so we go ahead let's go ahead and uh, hit save and then we hit file make drawing from part Yes this is what we want okay uh, I like the one that I had the current view because it looks just like the one that is in our book. Make that solid. I'm going to use custom scale to make this larger. So I use two to one, whatever. Okay. Annotation. Write my name. Pick any font you want, make it bold, hit OK, hit File Save, hit OK, hit File, Print, print the Windows 10, OneNote for Windows 10, hit OK, OK, our OneNote comes up, PoE, we got our handouts section hit it there it is part sp3-3 all right so we have that labeled and there you go you submitted your work that is complete